Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Tech Inc. And what I'll be reviewing today is the new curved stanchion extension, which is available for download at the Tekla warehouse. And what this tool does is it automates the curved handrails for curved beams, uh, chamfered poly beams if they have a radius in there, and then also for the complex poly beam extension, uh, an example that you can see over here on the right hand side. Basically what the intent of this tool is to do is to mimic the functionality of the stanchion's S76 component, which comes out of the box with Tekla with the difference being that this works on curved members. So here once you install the extension what will happen is the tool will be placed in your component catalog under the plugins section where you can go in and access that. If I double click on this it will open up the dialog box here and it looks basically identical to the S76 component. So you can define your offsets here on the near and far side you can come in and set up the minimum or the exact spacing, any overhang or offsets that you need, the height of the stanchion. You have full control over the first, middle, and last stanchion profiles, as well as their individual rotations, especially if you're using angle rail or that sort of thing. Then over here on the parameters tab, you also have the ability to come in and define specific connections that you want to use, just like you can in S76. And I've included some localized settings as well that you can try out just to give you different examples of what it will do. So what I can do is just come in here, activate this component, then follow the prompts located down here in the bottom left hand corner of my screen. I can just select any of the beams that automatically gets all the radius information and that stuff and then goes in and places in your stanchions just as you have defined through your settings. And then just like anything else you can come in here, load different settings, modify, and then you can see the changes that are applied there throughout the model. One thing that's nice about this is that it allows you, for example, here I have multiple beams. So let me just filter these out. Is that if the beams have the same radius, then what I can do is instead of just picking one member, I can just pick them all, hit the middle mouse button, and then it will go through and apply them throughout the whole thing using my uh, start and end offsets from the first and last beam that was selected. So pretty pretty slick there. Another option that I have here, like I said, um, is to come in and use this on the complex polybeam tool. So I use that tool to come in here and help me make the stringers for this spiral stair. So what I can do is I can just come in and select that complex polybeam. It grabs all the radius information from there and then goes in and lays those out. So again, uh, as mentioned before, this works for curved beams, chamfered polybeams, and then for the complex polybeam extension, which is available for download as well. So we invite you to, to download, check this out. Please send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new steel development.